where there's, uh, you know, there's obviously been a separation between the man and woman. There's obviously been issues, and there may even be uh, adultery. So there's issues that is going on. By the by, the time people sign, true Christians, I'm not talking about people who are just saying, okay, you you burnt my toast, I'm gonna get divorced. No, I'm saying people. No, who no, that has to be a valid reason. Okay, so I've, I've, I've maintained this. Throughout the discussion, okay. So now the I'm valid asking, reason. The valid is, reason in Christianity to get divorced is what, other than adultery? I believe it's adultery. Um, there you go. So that's the only option. I, I, but remember I'm sorry something, to say this. But That's we, your cousin. But remember, no, you but remember. To, you need to define adultery correctly. But listen, even the broader definition of adultery uh, does not include not providing for the wife. Hashim, I just want to think quickly. Yeah. Adultery, uh, let's, say, let's look at a man and a woman, even Christians or Muslims, they could be married for 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. Adultery can happen suddenly, but there could be other issues that are taking place in the home. You understand what I'm saying? In a Christian home, you could have, you could have couples that don't really care for each other. The husband doesn't care for the wife. He's not providing for the wife. He's not doing anything for the wife. So already there's a separation going on there. There's a tension, I agree. There's a tension. So but the, what question, I'm is, the question is still, is there grounds other than adultery? And every time I asked you this question, you said no. So why why are you trying to now justify? I'm not justifying anything. I'm okay, no, no, you're you're trying to justify yeah. because to me this seems very unfair on the wife. Yes, if she cannot get divorced okay. under un, under under valid reasons, which every society, even a non-Christian society, yeah. like this secular liberal society that we live in, yeah. yes, even they would find not only find it a grounds for divorce. But probably the husband can get persecuted for that. But we as Christians yeah, sorry, are not... Sorry, prosecuted for that. But we as because he's abusing his wife. But is that due to incorrect interpretation of what the scripture is saying? And, and not only that, hold on it's a second. It's not about interpretation. And, and not only that, yeah. remember, we're not basing our faith on what the society is teaching. We're basing our faith on what I know you're not, that's why I asked you the Bible. Be. But this is what I'm that's saying. That's why I kept asking you, what is the valid reason in Christianity so, for the grounds of adultery and like I said, every time I asked you this question, adultery, you said adultery. adultery number you one. gave a definition, a broader definition of adultery, and even including the broader definition of adultery, which doesn't actually include um, okay. not providing for the wife, which doesn't include, which doesn't, it does? Or oh, he's saying, okay, he's saying okay, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to have to go now. But listen, before yeah. I go, adultery, um, Erlene mentioned something a moment ago. When Jesus made that statement in Matthew, I believe it is, yeah. he said, out of the hardness of your heart, Jesus never intended for there to be divorce. Divorce is a last resort for the it married is. couple. It is. It should be, yeah. So it's not that God wanted divorce to take place anyway. The issue is man has made decisions that have been going against the marriage covenant, and that's what led to divorce. So it's not like uh, Christians are just going out of their way to divorce. The issue is there is being... I never said that. I don't know. This is all straw man. No, no, no. I, I'm not... What I'm Adultery. saying is that... What I'm saying is Adultery. not every Christian yeah. or not every Muslim is an ideal Muslim or a Christian. That's, okay? That, that's so there are sinners amongst all religions and even non-religions. Yes. Yes. But this reality of the society that we live in yeah. should have an option yeah. for the man or the woman to get divorced yeah. if there are valid reasons to okay. get divorced. Unfortunately, Christianity doesn't provide that other than very, def uh, very, very narrow list of reasons for divorce. And that all kind of falls under adultery okay you see what and, i mean and i'm gonna that's all i'm saying and, and you know what i'm gonna stick on that point because you know what we live not by what man says we live by the word of god in the bible god is very I particular agree. very particular about yeah. what he wants that's us why to i said do. that's why i said christianity shackles that woman no 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 he not the society shackle, it doesn't shackle it is the woman. christianity you know which shackles the woman divorce in the bible. second you know that there is one case of divorce in the bible are you aware of it one case of divorce yes when oh. God said divorce that woman because she's a Philistine and she's not teaching her children the Hebrew way. And God permitted. She was a Philistine. So, what was the religion? Uh, Hebrew. Hebrew. The Hebrew. No, no. Bible so, was she a Jew? Right. So, God, these, these women, no, she's a Philistine. Yeah, exactly. So, she was not a Jew? She was not a Jew. So, how, how did that marriage happen in the first place? He, fell, he, he, he broke the law. He so was. that marriage in the eyes of God wasn't even valid to start with. Forget about divorce. But the marriage is no. still, the marriage, if, no, if, if a can, Jewish... It can't be because the Bible says if you, if you lie with a whore, you are one flesh. That's marriage. So you're telling me... So how can God... Wait, wait, are you, telling, are you telling me that a believer can marry a disbeliever? They're not supposed to, but people do wrong things. No, no, in the eyes of, in the sight of God, is that marriage valid? God says no. Don't there you go. It. So what, why are you even bringing the question of divorce in that case? The marriage itself was null and void from the very beginning. There is no question of divorce at all. 
The marriage is nullified already. When you marry a disbeliever, like you said, you cannot marry a disbeliever. So in the sight of God, that, that marriage itself is Excuse nullified. Me. I don't think you understand a world that you're talking okay. about. Are you leaving? Take care. Whatever me. you talk about. I'm going to go. A, no problem. A, a, Take care. Thank you for your time. You say it for sure. And Why you, shouting? Calm down. No need to shout. You are a lot of self-believing. Are you? And yes, unfortunately, my, my English is not as good. Yeah. And my Shouting uh, won't help that. Yeah. Calm, calm down. But What's your religion first? Are you I'm, a Christian? I, I'm no. I'm a Jewish. Okay. In a Jewish, is a marriage valid between a Jew and a non-Jew? Yes. It is? Yeah. Is that uh, from the Torah? It, or is that your own understanding? No. It's in the Torah. There is no, not even a clue about it. And I will explain why. Because in the Torah, there weren't Christians. There weren't Muslims. There were nothing. Because in the Torah... That's why as a Jews, I didn't ask the Jews. Okay. Okay. So, let, so once again... It's not from